okay good morning so let us continue with the engineering thermodynamics now we will be in the tutorial 5 this is on first law involving steam the first problem a two phase mixture of water with a quality of 0.25 is contained in a piston cylinder assembly as shown the mass of the piston is 40 kg and its diameter is 10 cm the initial and final position of the piston are shown in the figure. So initially it is at a height of 1 cm, finally it hits the stops and it is at a height of 4.5 cm. The water is heated until the pressure reaches 300 kPa. So initial solution initial quality is 0.25. Okay, now diameter of the piston is 10 centimeters, mass of the piston is 40 kgs, then final pressure is 300 kilopascals. So, area of cross section of the piston will be equal to pi by 4 into 10 into 10 power minus 2 to convert centimeter into meter square. Then volume 1 will be equal to 1 centimeter height into area. Similarly, volume 2 when it uh, touch the, the person touches the stops will be equal to 4.5 centimeters minus 1 centimeter. Okay. So now, what is the pressure? Pressure at uh, state 1 will be equal to atmospheric pressure which is given as 100 kPa plus the pressure imparted by the piston that is mass of the piston into G divided by area that will be equal to 150 kPa. So you can this is basically 40 into 9.81 divided by area that is pi by 4 0 0.1 square. So that gives the initial pressure of 150 kilo pascals. So now using see the first state is quality is given as 0.25 that is state 1 is state 1 is saturated mixture of liquid and vapor so using pressure based because pressure is known pressure based saturation table steam tables so I will show you the steam table now, here this is the saturation tables based upon temperature. You can see the temperature is the first column. If you go down, there will be another table, this is called saturation table based upon pressure. The pressure is the first column. Now it is given, pressure is given in bar here. We want to convert this into uh, kilo pascal, 150 kilo pascals. So, 150 kilo pascals will be 1.5 bar. So, this is the entry for us 1.5 bar. So, in 1.5 bar, you will see that there is a Vf value that is the specific volume of the liquid, similarly, specific volume of the vapor. So, this is 1.053 into 10 power minus 3 meter cube per kg. And uh, this is 1.159 meter cube per kg. Similarly, the UF is specific volume of the liquid. Similarly, UG is the specific volume of the sorry, uh, UF is the specific internal energy of the liquid, and uh, UG is the specific internal energy of the vapor. So, 
you can take these values and find the state 1 specific volume and uh, specific internal energy state 1. So, here you at 150 kilopascals as I showed V f will be equal to 0 point here 0 0.001053 meter cube per kg similarly V g equal to 1.159 1.159 meter cube per kg. So, V 1 will be equal to V f plus x 1 times V g minus V f which is equal to 0 0.2906 meter cube per kg. So, that is the specific volume of the mixture at 150 kilopascals. Now, we can also find u1, u1 equal to u f plus x1 into u g minus u f which is equal to tables u f is at 150 kilopascals 469.9 469.9 plus 0.25 into sorry 466.9 it is 2520 so this is 466.9 2520 minus 466.9 so that will give you u1 as 980.175 kilo joule per kg. So, the properties are taken state 1 is fixed and properties are taken. Now, what is the mass in the system? Mass m is equal to the total volume divided by the specific volume which is given by 2.70268 into 10 power minus 4 kg. So, that is the mass. So, V1 we have found here, you can see that V1 is, you know the area of cross section, area of cross section into 1 centimeter, that is the height of the piston at the particular state 1. So, using that I can find the volume, area of cross section into the height, that is the volume of the mixture which is entrapped here. Now, that from that total volume by specific volume will give you the mass. So, the state 1 and mass are got now. The state 2 volume from this you can find state 2 volume total volume V2 equal to 3.53 into 10 power minus 4 meter cube from this equation. So, this is uh, this is actually 4.5 only because the total volume you have to take. So, 4.5 into 10 power minus 2 into a p ok. So, that will give you this volume ok. So, the delta v only is uh, 4.5 minus 1 the total volume at state 2 will be 4.5 the total height into the area of cross section that will be this 3.53 and 10 power minus 4. So, now the state 2 state 2 I have to fix v 2 is equal to V2 by M. Now, mass is known, V2 also is known, which is equal to 1.3077 meter cube per kg. Now, the final volume is, final specific volume is now calculated, final pressure is given as 300 kilo pascals. So, based upon that, the state 2 can be fixed. So, you can see how to fix the state, you know the specific volume is 1.3077 at pressure of 300 kilo pascals. So, going back to the steam tables for 300 kilo pascals this line V g is 0 0.606, but the specific volume at state 2 was calculated as 1.3077. So, that is greater than this, do you understand? So, V g at P 2 equal to 300 kilo pascals equal to 0 0.606 is less than V 2 
which is equal to 1.3077. So that means state 2 is superheated. State 2 is superheated. So we have to use the superheated tables. So you will understand here when you draw this diagram uh, temperature versus volume, we can say. So here we are talking about this 300 kilopascals isobar in a TV diagram and this temperature and uh, this volume, this volume here is Vg. So this is Vg, this Vg is 0 0.606 but the volume given is here somewhere that is 1.3077 so it should be in the superheated state in the same uh, diagram the superheated state okay so use super so using superheated tables for the pressure of 300 kilopascals so we will go to the tables now so this is the superheated steam tables so as in the saturation tables then the superheated steam tables here different pressures have different entries so we want 3 bar pressure so this 3 bar pressure basically and uh, our uh, specific volume what we calculated at the state 2 is 1.3077 meter cube per kg so here we can see this in this 3 bar see the entries for the V we can see that for 500 degrees centigrade it is 1.187 meter cube per kg and 600 it is 1.347 so we have to interpolate between these two temperatures so what we should do is here we want to interpolate for the value of internal energy so internal energy at the state 2 what we want is 2 is equal to we can say 3130 plus so this is the u at 500 plus we will say du by so that is 3301 minus 3130 so this du by dv dv is this 1.341 minus 1.187 so this is nothing but du by dv into dv dv is what now the required the given value for state 2 is 1.3077 minus here the previous value is 1.187 so if you do this then you will get the value of u2 so calculate so this is a simple linear interpolation what we understand here is between two rows of this table the properties vary linearly so with that assumption we make this interpolation so we also have entries for 50 degrees uh, the temperature interval etc but this is enough for this to understand how to use the tables so if you see this we have got the pressure and volume for the state 2 based upon the pressure we have arrived at the superheated uh, tables because we find that for the pressure 3 bar this volume is more than vg at 3 bar so we have come to the superheated tables in the superheated tables we find that these are the two entries which actually form the boundary of this value so u u is interpolated by using this particular so this is actually a simple linear interpolation so coming to the problem for for v2 equal to 1.3077 meter cube per kg you can see that we have calculated u2 as 3264 kilojoules per kg from the superheated tables by linear interpolation so by interpolation okay so now you know the two states what is q1 to 2 we have to calculate that that will be equal to w1 to 2 plus u2 minus u1 so that means 
you have W 1 to 2 you have already calculated that will be M into P into constant pressure 1.3077 minus 0 0.2906 so then plus again M into U2 minus U1 this is actually V2 minus V1 ok so using this we can calculate the Q as 2.70268 into 10 power minus 4 into 150 into 1.3077 minus 0 0.2906 plus I will say here I put a bracket plus 3264 that is the U2 value minus U1 value was calculated as 180 sorry 980.175 980.175 so this will give you Q1 to 2 as 658.47 into 10 power minus 3 kilojoules or Q1 to 2 equal to 658.47 joules so that is the value so now you can see the process process if you go back you can see that u um, u1 is 980.175 that corresponds to that was calculated using the x1 value so initially we had a mixture of water that is liquid water and steam with a quality of 0 0.25 so you can see this is the state 1 0 0.25 in 150 isobar line this is corresponding to 0.25 then there is a constant pressure process where it reaches the state 2 dash then a constant volume process occurs so it at, after it uh, basically it lifts up from 1 centimeter to 4.5 centimeters there the pressure remains constant at 150 then after it hits the stops what happens volume remains constant so intermediate state 2 dash you can say somewhere it is occurring so that to this uh, the pressure increases volume remains constant no work is done here that is 150 to 300 kilo pass, pascals the pressure increases so this is the problem where the total work is basically done during 1 to 2 dash only here then after that since delta V is 0, no work is done here. Finally, the internal energy change is from this state, final state to initial state, what would be the U, U2 minus U1, that is the value we used. Okay. So, this is about the first problem. So, first problem is done. Second problem, a two phase mixture of water with a quality of 0 0.25 is contained in a piston cylinder assembly as shown. The mass of the piston is 100 kgs and its area is 0 0.02. Initial and final positions are shown again, similar to the previous problem. But here, there is a spring as shown in the figure. Initially, the spring, when it is in this position, spring just touches, touches the uh, top surface of the piston without any pre-compression. So, it is not going to exert any force in the initial state. The Stiffness is 125 kilo Newton per meter. Water is heated again, like in the previous problem. So the piston moves up and goes to a uh, position from the bottom, it is about 5 centimeters away, where the spring is sufficiently compressed. The spring is also compressed by 5 minus 1, 4 centimeters. So atmospheric pressure is given as 100 kilo Pascals and G is given as 10. Solution from this problem. Initially, what is P1? P1 will be equal to P atmosphere plus mass of the piston into G divided by A. Okay, there is no, since spring is not compressed here. So, that will be equal to 100 plus 100 kg into 10 is the given acceleration divided by area is 
0 0.02. So, which will be equal to 150 kilopascals or 1.5 bar that is the P1. Then we can calculate the area of cross section is given as a 0 0.02 meter square. So, we can calculate uh, V1 equal to 1 into 10 power minus 2 into 0 0.02 which is equal to 0 0.0002 meter cube. Similarly, V2 equal to final position 0 the height is 5 into 10 power minus 2 into 0 0.02 which is equal to 0 0.001 meter cube. So, the wall definition and final volumes are known. Now, for the state 1, we can find state 1 is fixed by P1 equal to 1.5 bar x1 is given quality is given as 0 0.25. So, similar to the previous problem, so saturated mixture, saturated mixture is the state 1. So, from pressure based saturation tables table for 1.5 bar I can take Vf equal to like in the previous problem 0 0.001053 meter cube per kg. Similarly, Vg will be equal to 1.159 meter cube per kg. Uf also can write Uf equal to 466.9 kilojoule per kg and the UG equal to 2520. So, from this we can calculate U1, U1 equal to UF plus X1 into UG minus UF. Similarly, V1 equal to VF plus x1 into vg minus vf. So, we will get the values of uh, u1 equal to 980.18 kilo joule per kg and uh, v1 equal to 0 0.29054 exactly like the previous problem state 1 is fixed. Now, what is the mass of water? mass of water will be equal to V1 by small v1 which is equal to 0 0.0002 meter cube divided by 0 0.29054 meter cube per kg. So, which is equal to 6.883 into 10 power minus 4 kgs. So, that will be the mass. Spring is compressed by 5 minus 1 equal to 4 centimeters as the piston moves from state 1 to state 2. Okay. So, here from 1 centimeter to 4 centi 5 centimeters, it compresses the spring by 4 centimeters. So, now final pressure can be found as P atm plus P applied by the piston plus P applied by the spring. So, which is equal to 100 plus we already seen this 50 plus the spring constant. K of spring is 125 kilo Newton per meter spring constant. So, K into that is 125 okay, into so it will be kilo Newton into 
4 centimeters is compressed. So, 0 0.04 divided by the area, area is given as 0 0.02. So, this is nothing but k into x divided by a, that is the pressure given by the this. So, that will give you 4 hundred kilo pascals or 4 bar, that will be the final pressure. Do you understand? So, now you can see finally what happens here, go to the problem. So, the water is heated until the piston moves to the final position. Okay. Determine the total amount of heat transfer and the final state of the water. Final state we need to know. So, now we can see that the state 2 is fixed by the pressure which we have calculated and the volume. Volume also is known to me. Mass is known to me. So, specific volume of state 2 can be calculated. Okay. So, that means we need two properties. What is specific volume at state 2? That will be V2 divided by M. And V2 is nothing but we have calculated here. Here straight away V2 is 0 0.001 meter cube. So, 0 0.001 meter cube divided by mass we have calculated here. 6.883 into 10 power minus 4 kg. So, which is equal to 1.452 meter cube per kg that is V2. So, now pressure is 4 bar in the final state and uh, volume is 1.452. So, what is this state? We have to find this state. So, for that we have to see the tables, go back to the table. So, 4 bar, so first you go to saturation based pressure tables here, this is saturation based pressure tables. So, here you can see that 4 bar the volume is Vg is 0.463, okay. So, Vg at 4 bar equal to 0 0.463. Now, V2 is 1.452 greater than Vg at 4 bar. So, that means state 2 is superheated. So, you have to go to the superheated tables now. Superheated table corresponding to 4 bar. This is the table now, 4 bar table. And uh, again, the volume, one point, the volume is 1.59, uh, 1.452. .452. So, here you can see that this will be in these two lines. So, you have to interpolate basically here, these two lines. Okay. So, 1.452 will be in this between these two lines, correct. So, this, these two. So, you have to consider this and interpolate, interpolate to get the value of u. So, again u2 is interpolated using this basically. Same way what we have done here, u2 will be equal to uh, here u at v1 plus du by dv into dv plus, okay, that is it. So, here it is u, this is actually u, v2 and this is 1, okay. So, now this if you find, I can get the value, okay. Interpolating the tables, I got u2 equal to 4023 kilo joule per kg, 4023 kilo joule per kg. So, now we can find the answer. What is the work interactions? W atmosphere, first we will find that is P A T M into V2 minus V1. Okay, so that will be equal to 
minus 100 into 0 0.02 into 0 0.04. This is area, this is delta H. It is change in volume, so delta V. So that will be equal to minus 80 joules. Uh, yeah, so if you hear uh, into 10 power 3, you can put for this kilopascals to this. So in joules, we will write. Similarly, for a spring, this will be equal to minus k x square by 2. x is actually delta h basically. So, that will be equal to minus 125 into 1000 into 0 0.04 x x delta h this is or x divided by area. Area uh, so divided by 2 which is equal to minus 100 joules. Similarly, work for the piston, piston equal to minus mass of the piston into g into x or delta h, delta h, so which is equal to minus 50 into 10 into 4 into 10 power minus 2, which is equal to minus 20 joules. So, all the works are calculated. Now, what is work done by the, the steam? Work all these are done by steam. So, work done by the steam will be equal to minus of work involved in atmosphere plus work involved in by the piston plus work involved by the spring v is equal to 200 joules. Delta u of the steam will be equal to m into u2 minus u1 which is equal to 6.883 into 10 power minus 4 into 4023 minus 980.18 which is equal to 2079.15 joules. So, Q equal to W plus delta U first law delta K E equal to delta P E equal to 0. So, now we can say this is equal to 2279.15 joules. So, here we try to draw this TV diagram. So, here the first state is what? First state is 150 kilopascals. So, 150 kilopascal iso bar here this is x equal to x equal to 0.25 hmm? then it goes to 4 bar so 4 bar let us say some here like this something like this so now what happens the pressure actually linearly increases because of the spring so this is state 2 is superheated state so somewhere here so this is state 2. So, now we can see that if we go back, you will see approximately a temperature is in between these two. So, around uh, say 1000 degrees centigrade. So, 1000 degrees centigrade is the temperature. So, it will be very high here. I can show you the plot. This is this is 4 bar pressure. So, somewhere here 1000. So, this is your uh, process will be somewhat like this. Pressure increases linearly after this to this. So, crossing a state, saturated state at a particular pressure, then it goes back. So, it goes to the superheated state. So, this is the value of total Q. Uh, 